And that's Deanna, who went horseback riding with me that day. And there's our guide, Basca. Deanna was nice enough to take some pictures of me on top of a mountain looking over Lake Huskal. How's it going? Look at this view, it's incredible. We're on Havsgal Lake. We got here by horseback through these mountains over here. Mm. Past this beautiful pasture with yellow flowers. Really, really beautiful horse track. Now we're here overlooking the gigantic Havsgal Lake in northern Mongolia. Good times. There's Deanne. I've kind of... Uh, Lost contact with her. I didn't have an email. Ran into her in UB, but uh, forgot to get her email. So if anyone knows who she is, I'd like to send her a link to this YouTube site for her to see. Okay, folks, here I am in Mongolia with Baska, my guide, and with uh, uh, Deanna, who's uh, recording right now. And I'm on a Mongolian horse, a horse that directly comes from the horses that that conquered half the known world half a century ago or so, or, or eight centuries ago. And so, anyways, I feel like doing a little uh, Richard III. It makes me to say, you know, think, no, no, it's Henry V. Henry V. Once more to the breach, dear friends, once more, or close the wall up with our English dead in peace. Nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness, nor humility, but when the blast of war blows in our ears, then imitate the action of the tiger. Ah, and now, and now, the games afoot foul your spirit, and upon this charge cry, God for Harry, England, and St. George, too, too, too. <laughs> And so ends my little trip on the horse. <laughs> Bye, folks. Well, that was great fun. Two of my favorite things, spout some Shakespeare and ride a horse. But if you don't want to ride a horse, you can always rent a motorcycle. Like these two guys did. Pretty inexpensively, too. This captured my interest because of the gur, the modern tent, the Russian log cabin, and the teepees of the famous tsatan or reindeer people, and I might say endangered reindeer people. Though I'm not much of a photographer, and this trip taught me that, throughout the trip I was concentrating on the faces of people. In other words, my mantra for the whole trip was faces, not just places. And of course, in the back of my head, I was always thinking of Tina's mom and her process of always talking to the subjects. That would be Lute, and she's a great photographer. Oh. 
and they returned. <laughs> Bruno and Tina have returned. Hi, Here they right. come. <laughs> All right, welcome back. After they returned, we made plans to return to Ulaanbaatar. <laughs> 